Another short analysis video here, this time with a tactical focus on Pep Guardiola's 1-3-2-2-3 formation in build-up. So we'll take this example from Manchester City versus Liverpool last season. The first thing that stands out is the box midfield structure in front of the back three. In this particular game, John Stones and Rodri are in the two pivot roles, or holding midfielders as some people like to call it. And then ahead of them is Kevin De Bruyne and Ilkay Gundogan who are looking to pick up spaces between lines. Now the problem with that formation or structure for Liverpool is that their central midfielders can't simply lock onto the pivots as City attempt to build up play. And that's because they have to screen potential passing lines into Gundogan or into De Bruyne who could drop off from high areas. So it becomes often a half and half pressing position and that's because of the overload centrally. So a good example here is Henderson has positioned himself to do two potential jobs, which is what half and half pressing is. He's ready to press stones, but also looking to screen the movement of De Bruyne between lines. So if we pull that back a bit, we'll see Liverpool's shape. The two number 10s for City or the players between lines keep Liverpool compact. That means the fullbacks for Liverpool can't have too much distance between them and their centre backs. Manchester City keep one centre forward central and two players wide on the touch line, which exploits spaces to receive because of that compact positioning. But it's the overload in central midfield areas that is most interesting. As City play down one side, watch how Kevin De Bruyne opens up distance between himself and Stones leaving Jordan Henderson with too much ground to be able to do two jobs in relation to pressing or screening. The result is that Liverpool's fullback Robertson jumps the press and from then City moved the ball at pace to exploit the space that's created. And just have a look at the ball speed as City exploits the overload, preventing Liverpool players any chance to make recovery runs. Absolutely clinical and precise.